Hey, I'm Wayne Krantz. I want to talk about chords. Making them, playing them. Um, check it out. The way I think about it uh, is a little different. Um, one day I made the connection between what I was uh, playing as melody and what I would then uh, play as chords. And, and I kind of decided, you know, melody is going to be one note at a time and chords are going to be two or more notes at a time. But other than that, it's exactly the same thing. So check it out. So if you're playing D mixolydian, right? Everybody knows this chord, right? D mixolydian would be this, the scale that would, one of the many scales. Actually, you could play any scale over that as long as you do it right. True. Uh, but let's say we choose mixolydian. So check it out. One note at a time. Okay, basically one note at a time, a couple double stops in there, but that's just me. There was a couple of approach notes, but basically that's just the notes of a D mixolydian scale. Now, if I do the same thing, but allow myself to play more than one note at a time, it ends up sounding like chords, but it's coming from exactly the same awareness, which is where are the notes of D mix on the guitar, right? So then if I go to the thing and play it more like... Same thing. It's exactly D mixolydian again, but now since I'm playing more than one note at a time, two to six, it kind of sounds chordal. And in fact, I'm improvising now harmonically. Now that's different from just thinking like, you know, right? How many D chords, how many D7 chords do you know? Uh, some people know a million, seems like. Some people know three, seems like. 